In this short video, we'll learn how to multiplex a control file if your database is running on server parameter file or SP file. So we are connected to the database as SysDBA here. And first of all, check the name of the database. Um, v dollar data base. Find out what parameter file is your database using. Okay, we know that our database is using SP file because we have a value in here. If, the, if this was blank, it means the database was using B file or init or a file. And we'll find out the location and number of control files our database is using. Okay, so database is actually at the moment is using only one control file, which is wrong. You should always have control files multiplex onto different locations, onto different drives, and onto different controllers. So the statement is simple: alter system set control underscore files is equal to. We'll copy this location. and we'll paste it here. Okay, so I've put a single quotation here and name of the control, second control file would be control 02. Let me use the capital letters. Control 02.ctl and I'm using C drive to multiplex the uh, control file, but you should use different drives, okay? So this is just a teaching scenario. In actual practice, you'll use uh, more than one locations, different drives, and, okay. So control 03.ctl, single quotation close. So we have added two more control files. The database was running on just one control file which is here control 01.ctl and we are adding two more files and along with this one we also have to add the name of the first one otherwise it will use two two control files control 01.ct ctl single quotation close and scope is equal to SP file semicolon and enter system alter now you have to shut down I'll say host CLS first and I'll shut down immediate I'll go to host operating system and then I'll say I'll have to add those two files in the operating system okay so this is the directory and you can see we still have one control file database will look for three control files when we start it up again so I'll say copy control 01.ctl to control 02.ctl and I'll do the same thing once more and I'll say control zero, uh, zero 003 so we now have three control files uh, they are on the same drive in actual practice you should have control files on different locations in different drives so we'll go to SQL plus again and we'll start up Okay, so database is mounted and open. If I say select name from V dollar control file, it should show three files. So database is using three different files. So that's how we can multiplex a control file if the database is running in SP, if the database is using server parameter file, binary file as an initialization parameter file. Thank you very much.